Have you ever wondered why Mr. Beast's videos rack up millions, sometimes billions, of views? The secret isn't just in the crazy challenges, massive giveaways, or viral stunts. It starts before you even click, right at the thumbnail. His thumbnails don't just grab attention, they demand it. They spark curiosity, create urgency, and make viewers feel like they have to see what happens next. But here's the exciting part. You can create thumbnails just as compelling. Let's get started and bring Mr. Beast level thumbnails to life, one recreation at a time. All right, now that we understand the power of Mr. Beast thumbnails, it's time to dive in and start recreating one ourselves. This is going to be a hands-on, step-by-step process, so grab your laptop, follow along, and by the end of this, you'll have a high-quality, eye-catching thumbnail just like Mr. Beast's. Step 1. Exploring Mr. Beast's popular thumbnails. First things first, we need inspiration. So, let's head over to Mr. Beast's YouTube channel. Open up YouTube, type in Mr. Beast, and click on his channel. Once you're there, scroll down to the popular section. This is where we'll find his biggest hits. Take a moment to look at these thumbnails. Notice anything? They're bright, expressive, and instantly intriguing. But today, we're not just admiring them, we're recreating them. So let's pick one that stands out and move on to the next step. Step two, downloading the thumbnail. Now that we've chosen the thumbnail we want to recreate, we need to download it. There are four main ways to download YouTube thumbnails. One of the ways is using YouTube's API, which we won't be using for this tutorial. Another way is inspecting the web page source code, again, not our focus today. Method three is using online thumbnail downloader tools from the web. And now option four, the easiest method, which involves just using a simple trick with a URL. For this tutorial, we're going with option number four, the quickest and simplest way. Step three, downloading the thumbnail using ChatGPT. Here's a cool trick. Instead of hunting for tools, just ask ChatGPT, how do I download a YouTube video thumbnail? ChatGPT will provide several different options, but what we're looking for is the one that gives us the highest resolution thumbnail. Once you have the right link, copy it. You'll see a part of the URL that says Video ID. This is where you replace it with the actual video ID from Mr. Beast's video. Open a new tab, paste the modified URL, hit enter, and boom. There's the thumbnail, ready to be saved. Right click, save image as, and now we have our starting point. Step four, opening Canva to start editing. Now, let's move over to Canva, the tool we'll be using to recreate the thumbnail. Open your browser and type in www.canva.com. If you don't have an account, sign up using your Gmail. It's free. Once inside, search for YouTube thumbnail and open a blank canvas. Drag and drop the downloaded thumbnail onto the canvas. This will serve as our reference. But remember, we're not just copying it, we're recreating it with our own unique touch. Step five, extracting Mr. Beast's face using Magic Grab. Now let's separate Mr. Beast's face from the background. Click on the edit button in Canva. Look for the Magic Grab tool. This helps isolate objects in an image. Select Mr. Beast's face and extract it. Wait for a few seconds for the magic to happen and boom. Download the isolated image. We'll need it for the next step. Step six, swapping the face using Remaker.ai. Before we can start swapping faces, we need to sign up for an account. Here's how. Go to Remaker.ai. Open your browser and type in Remaker.ai. Click Sign Up. You'll see an option to create an account. Click on it. Choose a sign-in method. Sign up using Google or an email address. I recommend Google for quick and easy access. Complete the setup. After signing in, you may need to verify your email. Once that's done, you're all set to start face swapping. Head over to Remaker.ai, then upload the saved original Mr. Beast image to the left side. For tutorial purposes, we will use the provided images in the suggestion boxes, and I will choose the male character to be swapped. Also, it takes one credit per single face swap, but it's a small ask for the wonderful and proven results. Click on Swap, wait for a few seconds, and voila, our newly generated image. 
click download and we will use it for our next step. Step seven, recreating the background. Using AI now, let's talk about the background. It's just as important as the face. Take a screenshot of the background from Mr. Beast's original thumbnail. Head back to ChatGPT and ask, generate a prompt to recreate this background in AI. Copy the generated prompt and head over to ideogram.ai. Sign up, paste the prompt, and select 16-9 aspect ratio. Perfect for YouTube thumbnails. Browse through the AI-generated results and download the best one. Pro tip. If you're a first-time user, you'll have free credits. Just check the link in this video's description. Step 8. Assembling everything in Canva, bringing the thumbnail to life. Now that we have all the key elements, the face-swapped image of Mr. Beast and our AI-generated background, it's time to put everything together in Canva and start shaping our final thumbnail. Go back to Canva and open the YouTube thumbnail template we created earlier. Upload the AI-generated background you downloaded from Ideogram. Drag and resize the background to fully cover the canvas. Make sure it fits perfectly within the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, as this is the standard size for YouTube thumbnails. Now let's place the face-swapped image of Mr. Beast. Upload the face-swapped image from Remaker.ai. Drag it onto the canvas and position it strategically. Mr. Beast is almost always front and center in his thumbnails, so make sure the subject is prominent. Resize and rotate slightly if needed to match the posture and angle from the original thumbnail. Now we want to match the colors and brightness of our recreated thumbnail to achieve that signature Mr. Beast pop. Click on the face swapped image and go to Edit Image then Adjustments. Increase brightness slightly to give it that energetic, high quality look. Adjust contrast to make the image pop. Fine tune the saturation to make colors more vibrant. Mr. Beast's thumbnails are never dull. If needed, Use shadow and highlight adjustments to blend the image naturally with the background. Pro tip. If the lighting of the face and background doesn't match perfectly, try using Canva's color filter options to harmonize the tones. By now, the thumbnail should look bold, vibrant, and eye-catching, just like the ones Mr. Beast uses to attract millions of clicks. But we're not done yet. Let's add a final layer of visual magic to make it truly stand out. Step 9. Enhancing the thumbnail with effects. The secret sauce. Now that we've assembled the main elements, the face-swapped Mr. Beast image, and the recreated AI-generated background, it's time to take our thumbnail to the next level. A great thumbnail isn't just about placing images together. It's about making them visually compelling, so that when someone is scrolling through YouTube, they have to click. Step 1. Adding a gradient overlay for depth and focus. Go to the Elements tab in Canva, found in the left-hand toolbar. Search for Transparent Gradient in the search bar. Look for the purple gradient overlay. Drag it onto the canvas and stretch it over the entire thumbnail. Adjust the opacity and positioning so it subtly enhances the image without overpowering it. Change the color of the transparent gradient to white and resize accordingly to make the main subject stand out. And there you have it. We've successfully recreated a Mr. Beast style thumbnail from scratch using AI tools, professional design techniques, and some secret tricks that top YouTubers use to boost their click-through rates. If you found this tutorial helpful and want to learn more about AI-powered content creation, YouTube growth hacks, and the latest creative tools, make sure to subscribe to Zero to AI and turn on notifications. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and I'll see you in the next one.